Hey guys, so this is how I made my first app. Just copying all the source code from Google and paste inside the Android Studio. So that's how I made Facebook app. And I don't know who's Mark Zuckerberg. I'm just kidding guys, making an app is not an easy task. Continue unless you are interested in like me. After learning app development day and night or maybe while cooking or maybe while sleeping, what can be worse than this? The main thing is that now I know how to develop an Android app and in this video I'm making a best app in this entire world that you have never seen in your entire life which is an wallpaper app. <laughs> So after lots of planning and designing, I came up with this drawing. Why am I even sketching? I have been graphic designer for one year in Fiverr. So this video is sponsored by Fiverr. Uh, I'm just kidding, it's not sponsored by anyone. Anyway, it's time to design some real shit. So let's start building an app. I created a new project, best wallpaper app in this entire world. First I need is a navigation bar. For the navigation bar I need 4 fragments so it can be easily switched between fragments while pressing the button icon. So I created 4 different fragments. One for the home segment and one for the category segment and also for the download segment and the last for the setting option. So after a couple minutes of coding the navigation bar worked perfectly. Wow! By the way, I'm using Kotlin as a backend language and now we need something to display on the screen and for that we need something uh, recycle view, item view, image adapter, backend server, glide library. Combining all these things you can literally make an app like Instagram. Chal chuta. Nah, I'm just kidding. For the backend language, after lots of research, I found a best backend server which is a fire best, easy to use and it's also free. So after many hours of coding, I came up with this beautiful wallpaper app and everything seems working. The images are loading from the server. However, there was still something missing, uh, a loading screen. So I created a new function name as the progress dialog. Everything seems working but the progress dialog taking the whole entire screen but I need a progress dialog on the top of the recycle view. I don't know how to do it but you guys know I'm smart. Guys, so I went to Google and looked for the solution, and I found out it's just two lines of code, and it took me one hour to solve. Oh my god! Acha. <laughs> So guys, our app is almost ready, uh, everything seems working and now what we need is a category option and a download section where you guys can download the images and I think I should make a setting option and I don't know what should I put inside the setting but I will make a setting option also. For the category section, the codes are same as the main screen so I'm just copying and pasting the codes. I don't want about you guys just repeating the whole process over and over again. So this is how the category section will be look. So once again I dive into the Android Studio to create a download section I need to create a new activity that will store all the images. In order to view the full image, I need one more activity where a user can interact with the apply button and set the wallpaper as their home screen. So a couple hours of coding and smashing my keyboard, I finally finished my download section. So here's the logic. When the user click on the image, it will redirect to URL of particular image which is uploaded to the server and when the user click on apply button, it will set particular image as the home screen wallpaper. So hey guys, after one week of coding, I finally done with my app. Uh, I'd love to do more but making this kind of app is so boring, especially if you are dealing with the images. But I have to finish this video but I do give some updates though. Uh, if you guys want to download or use my app, it's completely free. So there is a download link in the description down below or you can just search the app name in the Play Store. We want to it's not really good app but don't forget to rate my app. And thank you for watching. See you guys again. Love you. Bye bye.